of friction. Let's do an activity. Gently push a book on a table. What do you observe? Well, you observe that it stops after moving for some distance. Now repeat this activity pushing the textbook from the opposite direction. Does the book stop this time too? Can we say that a force must be acting on the book opposing its motion? Well, this force is called the force of friction. You saw that if you apply the force along the left, friction acts along the right. If you apply the force along the right, the friction acts along the left direction. In both the cases, the force opposes the motion of the book. In fact, the force of friction always opposes the applied force. In the above activity, the force of friction acts between the surface of the book and the surface of the table. The friction is not the same for all the surfaces. It depends on the smoothness of the surfaces.